Hello, hello, hello. All right, so today I had my first um, giveaway for SheSpins.com on Twitter. And I posted that video earlier. So I was separating the wheat from the tariff, so to speak. So I found some more stuff in my yarn basket that needs to get out my yarn, out my fiber basket. Well, not my fiber basket, my hand spun basket where I put my finished hand spun in. One day I'll show y'all that basket. But um, I found these in there. And it's not my hand spun. It's samples of Miss Babs sock yarn. Um, this one, you can't, it's not dark, right? It's not that blue. Well, is it that blue? Yeah, my eyes are jacked up today. But this one is called a day at dive school. It's real pretty. It makes me think about um, Aruba waters and stuff like that. This one is called Chocolate Roses. It's pretty good. And this one is called Fraser. Okay. Okay. So uh, these are in there. And a lot of people like these for those sock yarn blankets. Um, so these three are up for grabs and they go together. So the. And so these three. Yeah, those three. Let me put this over here so I know what I'm doing. All right. And then I found these. These are more sample fiber skeins. And a couple of them, I think I did the ply on the fly. So they are actually, this is like a three ply. This one right here is a three ply. And it wasn't washed or anything. It was like I did it on the spindles just to while I'm walking around this fiber festival doing the different little samples vendors to give you and I was plying as I go and um, so it hasn't been washed so it does have it's still energized you can see the little curlies in there so it's going to be there's six all together so that's two 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 and I don't know which order I'm going to give them to people who win this giveaway um, for these samples so this is just to have some fun. You get these samples. You can make a sample with it or you can use it to embellish a project like a Mihirumi, something like that. Like, you know, it's just different things you could do with it. Or if you're a hoarder, you can just hoard it. So we have four, the first four people. The first four people that comment on this video will win these now these three go together okay and no one's gonna know who gets what until they blog the blog about it video blog about it on YouTube don't be telling me well, I want this one out. Mm -hmm. it's like whatever like, these three stay together and then the other ones I'm just gonna throw them in the envelope when I mail it out to the person um and you get what you get and that's just that you know if I'm one, if I'm not anything, it's, it's I'm practical, and I ain't got time for a bunch. Of, and I'm not, I'm nice, but I'm not that nice. Ain't got time for all that mess. I got four kids, and uh, you know, I, I don't baby them, and I ain't about to baby strangers. So, which you're not my strangers, you're my loyal YouTube viewers, but you understand where I'm coming from. If you have children, believe me, you understand where I'm coming from. So yeah, so. Okay, now what I've been working on. Um, I was messing around the other day. My friend Carrie, she gave me some crochet thread. So she gave me some crochet thread. She was de stashing. She gave me a white and a black one. Ebony and Ivory. It's like me and Carrie, Ebony and Ivory. So she gave me a white one and a black one. And so I was just messing around. It's just granny square stitch. But when you do it in something that's thread or lace weight, it makes it seem more special. So that's that. Um, then I have this hat. I was trying to follow Yolanda's pattern. And I'll post stuff down in the 
about this video more feature area. But I just I'm just missing something she's saying in that video. I don't know if I'm just not focusing, but I'm going to watch it again and I'm going to write down the instructions. And then maybe it'll light up. Okay? So then we have Mr. Nays cloche, cloak, however you want to say it. Hat, y'all. Okay, we have Mr. Nays flapper hat. Uh, and um, this is her to the side. No, this thing's all. I should find a way to flip it so it'll be like, you know what I'm saying? So it's to the side here. She can wear this on either side. I actually prefer the flower on that side. To me, it's just like right about there. Yep. That's it. You know, but you can put the flower wherever you want your flower to be. You can put your flower. You know? Hmm. I still like it right now. So, yeah. So, this is a flower. And it's two types of flowers. The first, the one on the outside, the big red one, is a hyper. I think they even call it, they call it hyperbolic. Hyperbolic. You know what I'm saying. Google. So, basically, it's like making the potato chip scarves where you keep doing the increases every row and it curls on itself. But you're doing it in the round. So, it's curling on itself in the round. So, it, this is three rounds. And that's how curly it got. Now, I did the rows on the inside. And then I slip stitched around the edges in the black. And but when I did a slip stitch, I did a chain two right before and after each of the shells. Um, this rose, I used six double crochet. It was just, I was at work and I was bored and I was just like, well, I'm go ahead and make a girl's flower. So I think I chained like 30 or 40. And, and then like in the fourth chain from the hook, I did five double crochet. And then I did... A single crochet in the next chain. Then I skip one and I did five double crochet, single crochet in this chain. I did it all the way to the end because I didn't, I was just messing around. But it ended up looking pretty nice. And so then I trimmed it in the black. And then when you trim it in the, do this, it's a slip stitch all around the edge. But you're going to slip stitch th three, chain two, slip stitch three, chain two. So. And it makes like a little teeny pico all around and it actually gives you you know like how a rose has that little point it actually gives you the little points y'all and that's just something that I made up to that came to me today while I was sitting there going like well, I want to look like more like a rose rose but that would be a cool rose to grow if you could grow one right now you hear me out there master gardeners so okay and then the other thing was my horde fail horde hat equals horde bag. So, um, yeah. So I'm making this into a bag. I gotta still gotta do the handles and the buttons and the buttonhole the button holders, which is gonna be just two loops, and weave it in. He might want a zipper in there, and if that's the case, then I have to get one of my friends for that zipper in because I don't want well, you know, to do zippers. And um, and then this is an idea. So I was making a, I has a like a little bit more of that red that I was using for the flower now. So this is supposed to be a cell phone cozy, but I started sticking stuff in it. See, and so now it's just like my little needle pin cushion. Look at that, just and throw it right in my bag. So so that's what I did today. That's what I've been doing, working on and what I did today in the giveaway and that was a lot of fun and I did that on Twitter so I'm thinking about maybe you know around June do another little giveaway where I might have like little sample skeins from stuff I spend because you know when you ply it, um, you don't always have you, you I've never had the same amount of fiber on both bobbins so you always end up sometimes with some left and sometimes I save that and I make what I call a um, sample skein which is basically a bunch of different fibers that I end up plying together and I get this really cool skein of yarn. 
And um, so sometimes I have a sample skein. And that's what this one, actually, this one right here, um, this is the one that Rami Designs one. It's a sample skein. That's why it has the different colors in it. So, and the pink in her, the pink in hers was actually this alpaca. Some of it was like the color was darker and I didn't like it. So I will pull that part of fiber out. And so I spun it separately and I actually, and I used it in this sample skin. So that's the idea you can do with your fibers. You know, if you had leftover fiber of a color or leftover yarn on your um, bobbins that you want to get off the bobbins or get off your spindles or like little samples that, you know, you just want to get it off your spindles, you can make a sample skein. Um, one of those was a sample skein too. And this one is a sample skein. When the independent fleeces... No, international fleeces when she was in business. Um, she sent she was sending like little samples. And so this is some of her Norwegian long wool, which I liked it so much I ordered some. And then this is some by Humbug as well as some Apaca. So yeah, y'all. Um spinning saves lives. One fleece at a time. That's my motto. I made it up and I live by it. <laughs>